Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17 of the United States Constitution grants Congress the ex ex to exercise exclusive legislation in all cases whatsoever over D.C. So what are we doing here today? We are exercising our constitutional duty of oversight. And the founders designed it that way. If you don't like that, then there is a process to change the U.S. Constitution. You can file an amendment and try to get it passed through Congress and kick it out to the states. The D.C. Council ultimately answers to Congress, and Congress ultimately answers to the American people because, as some of my colleagues have said, this is our capital city. Every American, white, black, brown, doesn't matter the color. It's our city. All things haven't been going all too well in our capital city lately. Mr. Allen, are you currently the chair of the Public Safety Committee? No, sir, I'm not. I'm the chair of the Transportation and Environment okay. Committee. Were you in June of 2020 chair of the Public Safety Committee? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And then in June of 2020, did your committee unanimously approve a plan to cut $15 million from the city police budget? Uh, about 1% of the half a billion dollar NPD budget, yes. So yes? Okay. So the D.C. police chief at the time said, when asked about the plan, said it would probably force a, fr a hiring freeze and would ultimately result in a net loss of 200 plus officers. So Mr. Allen, uh, yes or no if you could, do you believe that it's a good or bad idea to reduce the overall size of the D.C. police force? Well, I'm not going to pretend that the summer of 2020 there wasn't a large conversation taking place about what is the appropriate size. But now, have a DC no, auditor. In, in, respectfully, now yep. though, do you think it's a good or bad idea, yes or no? To, I'm sorry, to what? To reduce the size of the DC police force. Uh, right now, the auditor is trying to tell us what do we think the actual force is. I don't care about the auditor, be. what do you think? Right now, we're growing the police force. We're trying right, to grow so it. You, do you think it's a good idea to grow the DC police force? To, I, I yes agree, and no? yes, and I have funded. Okay, so, is it, so it's a pretty simple, and I, you know, I, I, I think it is a good idea to grow it because uh, do you recall how many officers you had in June of 2020? I could get you that exact it's number. I don't have it exactly it, on top of my head. 3,800. Do you know what it is today? I could get you the exact number. 3,400. My head. Okay, so it's 400 fewer police officers. Mm -hmm. So we didn't grow the force, uh, regardless of claims that uh, the budgets were magically increased. In fact, the uh, police chief currently said that his goal is 4,200, and that it will take, if it ever occurs, will take a decade. So the, the police policies, chief also said that it's not an issue of budget. That we have the policies, sir, the po the, sir, the policies that you all have set in place have set public safety back in our city, capital city, like over, over a decade. And this is the first time in 20 years we've seen 200 plus murders in D.C. I haven't seen that in, in two decades. Do you believe that D.C. is a dangerous city? No, but hiring police officers is something our entire country is going okay. through. I funded okay. uh, recruitment no, I just, incentives, sir, for example, Respectfully, in I just asked you one Juneau, Alaska, Sir, I asked you a specific question. This isn't your time. It's our time. So you don't believe that D.C. is a dangerous city. Uh, you know, and I don't want to get into anecdotes, so let's just look at statistics, because I think that's a really healthy way to do, do, do things. According to your own police department, the murder rate is 33 per 100,000. I, I couldn't hear that. I'm sorry. Sorry. According to your own police department, the murder rate is 33 per 100,000 in the city. Okay. The national average is 6.9. It's 478% higher in Washington. Robberies, 296 per 100,000. National average, 61, 485% higher. Total violent crime, 597 per 100,000. National average, 395, 151% higher. So empirically and statistically, it is a dangerous city. It is more dangerous. And, you know, if people want to say, well, because it's a city, comparable cities like, and I just picked these out randomly, Fort Worth and Oklahoma City, murder rate is 13 per 100,000 and 12 per 100,000. So two and a half times more likely to be murdered in D.C. than those cities. So it's clearly a very dangerous city. And, Mr. Chairman, further, I'd like to enter into the record, submit for the record, an article that was written by the Washington Post where the D.C. Uh, U.S. attorney declined to prosecute 67 percent of those arrested. Mr. Pemberton, according to Washington Post, 67 percent uh, of crimes weren't important enough to prosecute. How do you think that affects your officer morale? 
Uh, it's frustrating. The officers who, drive, who patrol these neighborhoods, they're looking for the people who are committing crimes, who are committing violence against others, who are terrorizing neighborhoods. Uh, they're building probable cause. They're arresting them. Our detectives are doing investigations. They're, they're, they're getting probable cause for warrants. They're arresting them. And then when we bring those folks down to the U.S. Attorney's Office, those cases are getting what we call no-papered, which means they're getting dismissed at intake. Yeah, and we need to protect the people of this city, not only the tourists that come here, but the people that live here. And um, it, it's... Well, my time is out. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. Can I just point out that these are the charging decisions are made no, by the federal, federal attorney? No, the gentleman's time has expired, but I'll allow the gentleman to respond. Thank you. These charging decisions are made by the federal United States attorney. He's the one who prosecutes. He's the one who decides whether to paper these cases. It's enormously frustrating to us. Thank you, sir. The, the chair recognizes.